Hi, today I'm going to be talking to you about choosing materials technology as an option choice. So why would you want to study materials technology? Well, at its core, it means working with materials that are difficult to work with, such as woods, metals and plastics. However, the subject is all about designing products for the real world. It's all about taking an idea from the moment of inception to an actual final product that can be used and evaluated. So it's not just about the material theory, it's about making, it's about problem solving, it's a lot of doing. Here is just a small selection of some of the previous projects that have been made over the years. We've had all sorts of briefs to work to, um, but students have pretty much been able to make whatever they want and we've been able to fit it into the course. So if you're thinking that you'd like to make something useful, something that would perhaps you could take home and use, then this is a good choice for you. The course is broken up into two key components and they're both worth 50% of the overall qualification. So the first component, which is worth 50%, is the exam paper. Now this typically takes place at the end of year 11. It does include calculations, some open and open response questions, as well as extended writing. Um, it's split into two sections, core content and a specific material. So we are able to choose a variety of different materials that we want to specialise in. Usually timber is the preferred choice, as that's what you spend a lot of time studying all the way from year seven to 11. The second component is a design and make project, which is also, which is worth 50% as well of the qualification. And it involves a short investigation, designing, making, and evaluating a product. So you can pretty much choose whatever you wanted to make. Okay, so those are the two components that make up the course. Given the nature of this materials technology course, you can get many of the skills and knowledge needed to enter the world of work and to build a career in a lot of different areas. Some of the more popular ones include engineering, product design, manufacturing, architecture, interior design, landscape architecture, which is a background I come from, construction, branding, entrepreneurial business, CAD operators, which stands for computer aided design operation and advertising. All of these careers are pretty well to high paid and are in demand. So the jobs are coming about all the time. So there is no doubt if you pursued this route of study, you would be able to secure a job in many of these professions because they are always in demand. I'd just like to close by saying that this subject complements so many other subjects. It links so closely to science, to art, to maths. So especially if you are strong in any of these subject areas, it should come a second nature to you in terms of materials technology. But as well as linking in with the other subjects, it's a very different subject because it allows you to be creative, allows you to problem solve, and that's what employers are looking for. So this subject will naturally, as well as complement the core subjects, many of the core subjects will provide you with the skills that people are really looking for. And that's what it's all about. I'm passionate about, passionate about materials technology and I hope you too can grow a passion for the subject. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation and please consider materials technology as one of your option choices.